9-11, the basic questions. Anthrax and microbiologist deaths. What happened on September 18th when an employee of Battelle Memorial Institute was involved in a so-called anthrax hoax on that day? Was he arrested? Why did the investigation of that case begin in December 2001? What was in the memo of Dr. Leonard Horowitz, a public health consumer advocate and author of Death in the Air, on October 1, 2001, almost two weeks before the first anthrax letter was sent from Trenton to the American media building in Boca Raton? What about his letter of November 13, in which he claimed that Bayer is behind the anthrax infections? Did U.S. biodefense laboratories send the anthrax-laced letters to get a new budget for research? What about the statement of former UN weapons inspector of Iraq, Richard Spurzel, who told ABC, he knows only five scientists in the USA who would be in the situation to produce such a fine, highly developed spore material. Why did it take 48 hours to inform Bob Stevens that he had anthrax? Why were envelopes never found near Bob Stevens, Amelie Lundgren and Mian Guyan? How come Microsoft got a hoax anthrax letter from Malaysia on the same day that President Bush said Malaysia might be one of the next targets of the United States? Why did the FBI never investigate the case Don Wiley, a bioscientist who disappeared November 13, 01? Why did the FBI begin to investigate after his body was found on December 22, 300 miles away? Was there an investigation at the military hydro plant where workers found him? Why did the media write different versions about how, when and where he was found? Why did the police report change two months later from suicide to an accident? What was the goal of Bioport in 1997? Did development of anti-anthrax vaccines begin in 1998? When did Bioport decide to produce anthrax vaccines? Was it before or after? September 1998, that Admiral Crow was put in charge of investigations of the August 7, 1998 bombings of Embassy Nairobi and Embassy Dar es Salaam? Did the schedule for developing anti-anthrax vaccines begin starting in 1998? When did the U.S. government ask Bayer for help in developing a vaccine? When did Bayer start sending the vaccines to the U.S.? When did Bayer double production of the vaccines? Was the death of Vladimir Pasechnik investigated? He was former director of the Institute of Ultra-Pure Biochemical Preparations of the Soviet Biowarfare Establishment. Biopreparat in November 2001. How are the deaths of scientists Robert M. Schwartz, Dr. Benito K. and Set Van Nguyen explained since all occurred in the same month? Is Set Van Nguyen related to the anthrax victim Mia Nguyen? What about the death of Nancy Sonnenfeld, FEMA wife? Why was the NJ Division of Fish and Wildlife examining anthrax in August 2000? Do any employees in Trenton have the same handwriting as printed on the anthrax envelopes? Is it just a coincidence that the laboratory is also based in Trenton? Did the FBI ever ask Fort Detrick to examine anthrax spores? What about the list of 15, 20 labs maintained by Barbara Rosenzweig? Who used Fort Detrick spores? Does the CIA have spores different from those at Fort Detrick? Why did Tommy Thompson, the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services, and other Bush cabinet members meet secretly, that is illegally, in October 2001, with officials of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, PHRMA, to develop plans for their Emergency Preparedness Task Force? Why did he decide on October 25th 2001, to ask Congress for another $500 million to produce a Cambys' smallpox vaccine. Why did it take 4.5 hours until Jean-Marie Malecki, Director Palm Beach County Health Department, picked up the phone for employees of the AMI building, Boca Raton? This is where editor Bob Stevens got anthrax. Why did she wait two days before she visited that building again? Did Walter Gilbert? Director Myriad Genetics, ever get official permission from relatives of those killed at WTC to examine their DNA? Why didn't jets intercept the airliners since they had numerous warnings of terrorist attacks? Why did Ashcroft stop flying commercial airlines, citing an unidentified threat in July 2001? Why did FEMA lie about their presence in New York on 9-11? Why didn't the Secret Service hustle Dubia out of the classroom? Why did George H.W. Bush meet bin Laden's brother on 9-11? 
Why did passengers or crew members on three of the flights all use the term box cutters? Where are the flight recorders? Why were the FISA warrants discontinued? How did Bush see the first plane crash on live camera? Why was security meetings scheduled for 9-11s canceled by WTC management on 9-10s? How did they come up with the culprits so quickly? How did they find the terrorists' cars at the airport so quickly? Why did Shrub dissolve the Bin Laden task force? Why the strange pattern of debris from Flight 93? How extensive was the relationship between the Taliban, the ISI, and the CIA? What exactly was the role of Henry Kissinger at UNOCAL? When was it decided to cancel building a pipeline from Turkmenistan through Afghanistan to Pakistan? Why did the FBI in 1996 close the files to investigate Osama bin Laden's relatives in Washington? Why did Bush stop inquiries into terrorist connections of the bin Laden family in early 2001? Who made the decision to have John O'Neill stop investigating al-Qaeda accounts? Who gave the decision to give him a security job at the World Trade Center? Did John O'Neill meet anyone of the FEMA in the night of September 10th? What about media reports that hijackers bought tickets for flights scheduled after September 11th? Why did none of the 19 hijackers appear on the passenger lists? Why would devout Muslims frequent bars drink alcoholic beverages and leave their Bibles? Why would the hijackers use credit cards and allow driver's licenses with photos to be Xeroxed? Why did the hijackers force passengers to call relatives? How did the hijackers change the flight plan without law enforcement or the military try to stop them? How did a hijacker's passport miraculously appear near the WTC? Who found it and what time? How could the FBI distinguish between regular Muslims and hijacker Muslims on those flights? Why was there not one innocent Muslim on board any of these flights? Did someone go through the passenger lists looking for Muslim names and label them as hijackers? Mohammed Atta. Did the Florida police provide information that Atta was searched because of one? an expired visa two, driving a car without a license three, because of an incident at Miami airport. Why did Atta leave his bag at the airport and the employees didn't put it on board? Who found his bag? How can we be sure it, it was his bag? Why did Atta place a video how to fly planes, a uniform, and his last will into his bag, knowing that he would commit suicide? Why did Atta leave his driver's license in a rental car? When did Atta train on a flight simulator? Did Atta leave the U.S. while in training and then return? Why did Atta decide to study at Opa Loka, a famous hub of six Navy training bases and includes government partners like U.S. Coast Guard Air Station, Police, Miami-Dade, Aviation Unit? Why was Atta allowed to study since he was stopped by the police for driving without a license and also for violating his visa? The Black Boxes and Crash Video why were the black boxes never recovered? Why didn't the FBI release the air traffic controller's protocols? Why did the FBI not release the flight data recorder info? The hijackers. How did the FBI receive a tip from a passenger who boarded a different plane and reached his destination safely that he had a confrontation with two ME men at the Logan Airport in Boston? Who tipped the FBI to storm the Westin Hotel in Boston on September 12th? Where did the photos of all 19 hijackers come from? How were all hijackers identified just two days after the attack? Why did all 19 names not appear on the passenger list two days after the hijacker list was released? Why do none of the names appear on the passenger list UA and AA gave to CNN? How could the hijackers disable the defense systems? Why did the FBI ignore bin Laden's family, who left the United States without further investigation? What about the supposed hijackers who are still alive? Was there a reason to change the list of the original 19 hijackers? What happened to Ayub Ali Khan and Mohammed Jawid Azmath, who have been in jail since September 2001 because of possession of box cutters on a train? Who gave the tip to arrest them? Why did it take four months before Ramzi bin al Sheib's name was mentioned, since he was a good friend of Mohammed Atta and lived in his apartment in Hamburg? Why did it take four months until December 11th to charge Zacharias Musawi for the 9-11 attacks, when his case was known worldwide for months, but not mentioned in the American media? Whatever happened with Lotfi Raisi, who was arrested in UK for teaching the terrorist pilots, 
What is the current status of the investigation of Mamoun Darkazanli Import Export Company in Hamburg, an Al Taqwa management organization in Lugano? Why was Richard Reed able to enter the Paris airport twice, and who paid for his hotel? Who hired Zacharias Masui to learn how to fly passenger jets in the United States? Why did the FBI or CIA fail to interrogate him between August and December 2001? Bin Laden did the CIA monitor bin Laden in 1998 with the help of 15 Afghan agents paid dollar one zero 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 slash month? Where are these agents? Was Johnny Mike Span one? Was John Walker Lind one? Is an Afghan agent a member of the ISI? Is an Afghan agent working for bin Laden? When was the first time Tenet mentioned the Al-Qaeda group to any member of the Senate? Why did the Pentagon release a new video version or translation of the bin Laden home video? Why it was released only eight hours after translation by the German magazine Monitor on December? Why were the four translators prior U.S. government workers? When was the Bin Laden home video found, and who found it? Who found the video if Northern Alliance and U.S. troops had not yet arrived in Kandahar or Jalalabad? Does the timestamp on the Bin Laden video indicate that it was found two weeks after it was produced? Why was the public not informed who found the video and when? Why, according to Monitor magazine, were the most controversial statements translated incorrectly? Why was the video released? Who gave the final decision to release it? Why is the Bin Laden video of June 2001, in which he praised the attack, available on the internet? What about Bin Laden's statements on Al Jazeera in June 2001 about the bombing of USS Cole? which are similar to the statements on the November 2001 home video. Why did Bin Laden state in Umman magazine in September 2001 that he was not involved in the WTC? Is Bin Laden still on the payroll of the CIA or ISI? Did the Bin Laden Group Inc. help build Tora Bora with the CIA? What was the purpose of the meeting with General Pervez Musharraf in May 2001? Why was a statement released that Al Khalifa bin Laden, who is not the mother of bin Laden, had a telephone call with bin Laden on September 9th, rather than Aliyah Ghanem, his mother? Why did Aliyah Ghanem say she did not believe he planned the attack? Foreign Intelligence Agencies Why did General Mahmoud Ahmad, former head of the ISI, quit his position? Why did retaliation against the Taliban begin the day he stepped down? Who in the ISI paid $100.000 to Mohammed Atta? Why does Ahmad think that another secret service was involved in the WTC attack? Which secret service was he referring to? Did other ISI officials believe that? Did officials of the CIA believe that? Did some officials of the Mossad believe that? What was the purpose of Ahmad's visit to Washington on September 11th? Who told Russian Foreign Minister Ivanov to abort an airstrike against Afghanistan in May 2000? Did Russian intelligence notify the CIA in 2001 that 25 terrorist pilots had been training for suicide missions, as reported in the Russian press? Kissinger What did Kissinger mean that an outside threat from beyond, a world government and individual rights who are willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being granted, what you mentioned in 1991 on a Bilderberg conference. What was his role at Unocal? What did he discuss at the Bilderberg meeting last year in May 2001? What was the purpose of his meeting with Moscow Mayor Yuri Lushkov in July 2001? Why does he write in toward a new diplomacy for the 21st century that America doesn't need a foreign policy? When was the last time Henry Kissinger met U.S. Ambassador in Pakistan, Robert Oakley? The purchase of airline put options. Is it true that the CIA is in possession of Promise software? What is the purpose of Promise? Did A. B. Buzzy Crongard, CIA, own any stocks of United Airlines, American Airlines, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, AXA Re, Insurance, which owns 25% of American Airlines, and Munich Re? What is his connection to Alex Brown, Deutsche Bank? Did he give any insider information about to George Tenet, CIA? Who was the investor who purchased 2000 UAL put options between August and September 11, 2001? 
Did Deutsche Bank Alex Brown own any stocks of UA, AA, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, AXA RE, Insurance, which owns 25% of American Airlines, and Munich RE? What about the 2,500 UA contracts which were split into 500 chunks each, directing each order to different U.S. exchanges around the country simultaneously on August 10, 2001? Did Deutsche purchase UAL options in August 2001? Why did DBAB purchase 4,744 put options on United Airlines stock as opposed to only 396 call S on September 6 to 7? What was the purpose of doing that? What is the connection to Wally Cromgard? Did Deutsche Bank or Wally Cromgard purchase 4,516 put options on American Airlines as compared to 748 call options on September 10? What was the reason of Mayo Shattuck 3 reassignment on September 15? The Taliban and the Carpet of Gold. When was the last time they met any representatives of the U.S. government? What was the purpose of these meetings? Did the Taliban know Carl E. Inderfirth and State Department Counterterrorism Chief Michael Sheehan? Do they know which U.S. representative said in February 2001, either you accept our offer of a carpet of gold, or we bury you under a carpet of bombs? When was the last time the Taliban was in touch with this representative? Did Abdul Haq, the former Mujahideen leader executed September 2001 by the Taliban, decide in winter 2000 to attack the Taliban? Did production of opium in Afghanistan fall from 3276 tons in 2000 to 185 tons in 2001? Global Hawk Technology Was Global Hawk Technology able to remotely control unmanned planes in 1999 for 27 hours? Did Northrop Grumman use Global Hawk Technology in the war in Afghanistan since October 2001? What is the purpose of unmanned technology? Is Northrop in contact with any engineers of Boeing? Did Northrop install Global Hawk technology in a commercial airplane? Carrier and troop movements before September 11. Did two U.S. Carrier battle groups arrive in the Gulf of Arabia just off the Pakistani coast before September 11? Did 17,000 U.S. Troops join more than 23,000 NATO troops in Egypt for Operation Bright Star on September 11. What was the purpose of both of these operations? Biochemical Warfare When did Tommy Franks learn that he would use thermobarics in Tora Bora? Does he know if it had been tested on December 12 in Nevada? Who told Franks that Bin Laden might hide in Tora Bora? Is the main purpose of thermobarics to destroy buried bio and chemical stocks? When was the first time Franks used thermobarics? Was it before or after the announcement of the end of ABM Treaty on December 11? When did the U.S. decide to use B-61-11, the nuclear version of its conventional Blue 113 counterpart? Why has the NSA destroyed data collected on Americans or U.S. companies since the September 11 attacks? Aborted attempts to get bin Laden. Why did Clinton abort an attack on bin Laden in October 1999? Who was responsible for that operation? Why was the operation put on hold? Why did Musharraf halt a covert operation to attack bin Laden in October 1999? Why did the GOP in Congress stop almost every move Clinton made against terrorism? They refused to believe reports and pass necessary legislation. In 1996 Clinton proposed a very extensive anti-terrorism regulation. Richard Reed Who hired Richard Reed to threaten a passenger plane in Paris? Who did he send an email to in Pakistan? Has he ever been in touch with the ISI or CIA? Did he know the difference between an explosive and a detonator? How many ounces did he have in his shoes? What size are his shoes? Who built or prepared his shoes? John Walker Lind. Has John Walker Lind ever been in touch with the CIA? Did he ever work for the CIA? Who arrested him in 2001? Why didn't he escape in the tumult to nearby Mesari Sharif? Who hired his lawyer, Richard Brohanan? Who paid his lawyer? Why didn't he go to Guantanamo Bay? 
Dick Cheney. When did Cheney stop working for Halliburton? Is he still in possession of any Halliburton stock? Is he still in contact with Halliburton? Was Halliburton invited to an oil conference in May 2002? Does Cheney know when that meeting was planned? Did Cheney have influence concerning Halliburton contracts with the Pentagon? What exactly did Cheney decide to do on September 11? Did he speak with an Air Force commander or light? Jen. Charles F. Wald on that day? When did he inform the president about the hijacked airplanes on September 11? Who called the White House on September 11 at 9.30 a.m. about a possible threat? Why was no air security at the White House or the Pentagon at 9.30 a.m.? When and who gave the approval to evacuate the White House at 9.45 a.m.? What was the purpose of a meeting with Indian opposition leader Sonia Gandhi in June 2001 about a multi-million dollar debt owed to Enron from a major energy project in Indian power plants? When was the last time Cheney spoke with anyone from Enron? Colin Powell What was the role of Colin Powell? Who decided to give $43 million in aid to the Taliban regime in May 2001? Did he know that production of opium in Afghanistan fell from 3276 tons in 2000 to 185 in 2001? What was the purpose of his decision to treat the Taliban prisoners as war prisoners? Is this decision in any way related to media reports two days earlier that Powell may have been involved in negotiations with Indian power plants? What was the purpose of his short trip to Latin America on September 11? Who decided that he fly to Latin America on that day? Why would someone threaten him in Afghanistan on January 17, 2002, as Newsweek reported? What was the purpose of Powell meeting with India's foreign minister on April 6, 2001? Did Enron or Cheney ask Powell to help collect a $64 million debt on an Indian plant project? George H. W. Bush When was the last time George H. W. Bush traveled to South Arabia on behalf of the Carlyle Group? What was the purpose of that meeting? Thomas White Is Thomas White still in contact with Enron? Did his contact at any time influence his decisions? Does he still own Enron stocks? Delmart Vreeland Did Vreeland warn Canadian intelligence in May 2001 about possible terrorist attacks on New York and the Pentagon? Did he place the warning in an envelope while in prison in Toronto, Canada? Where did he get his information? Whom did he give the envelope to? Why was he placed in jail? Saudi Bin Laden Group Com. Was the domain created on September 11, 2000? Who paid for that domain? Are they also owners of Iridium satellites? When did they end contact with relatives of the Bush family? The Carlyle Group When was the last time George H. W. Bush traveled to Saudi Arabia on behalf of the privately owned Carlyle Group, the 11th largest defense contractor in the U.S.? What was the purpose of that meeting? When did he resign from Carlyle Group? Is he still in touch with any of their representatives? Stephen Lander, Director MI5 Did Lander monitor a phone conversation between Zacharias Musui and Richard Reed in December? 2000? What did Lander tell representatives of the CIA about Zacharias Musui? Why did he stop monitoring Jamal Beghal, member of Takfar Walhidra? financed by Osama bin Laden, in August 2001. Bin Laden in Dubai Did bin Laden in July 2001 enter an American hospital in Dubai? Did he arrive on July 4, 2001 on a flight from Quetta, Pakistan to American hospital? Was he at the hospital July 4 to 11, 2001? Did Bernard Koval, CEO of American Hospital, ever speak with Dr. Terry Calloway about that visit? Why did he change his statements about this story not being true and that he asked around? What is the difference between continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis and continuous cycling peritoneal dialysis? Did Koval know Larry Stevens? Can Koval explain why Richard Labavere, author of Terror Dollars, about illegal Al-Qaeda accounts, 
wrote the story about Osama bin Laden's kidney operation? George W. Bush What exactly happened on September 11 and at what time was President Bush informed? Why was President Bush scheduled to visit a school in Florida? Who scheduled the time of the visit? When exactly did Bush learn about the first crash into the WTC? How could he have seen that on TV? Why didn't he interrupt his school meeting as soon as he learned of the first plane crash? Did Bush ever wonder how Bin Laden was able to hear the first plane crash live on the radio? Which radio station he was listening to? Can Bush explain how Bin Laden's home video was found only two weeks after it was produced? Why did Bush decide to release Bin Laden's home video? What is the purpose of the Western Hemisphere Institute for Security Cooperation, WISC, in Fort Benning, Georgia, where terrorists have been trained for undercover agents in South America? Bush stated if any government sponsors the outlaws and killers of innocents, they have become outlaws and murderers themselves. So what does he think about Fort Benning? What is the role of Zalmay Khalilzad, former Unokal, in the National Security Council? What is the current role of Zalmay Khalilzad, former Unokal, in Afghanistan? When was Bush's last contact with anyone from Enron? Why was China admitted to the WTO on September 13 after 15 years of unsuccessful attempts? Why did Bush postpone the release of Ronald Reagan's records? How does Bush feel about the need to investigate the CIA's mistakes? Does Bush agree with Senators John McCain, Joseph I. Lieberman, Porter J. Goss, former CIA. Clandestine case officer and a Florida Republican, Richard C. Shelby and Ron Paul, U.S. congressmen, who want an investigation and have said secret government is winning out over open government? Why did Bush continue to sit in that classroom reading to children when he should have been conferring with his advisors? Why did Bush say that he and Card initially thought it was an accident involving a small plane? Given all the information sources available to the POTUS and his staff, how could his people not have known the kind of plane involved? Why didn't they know at this point, as did the FAA and NORAD, that aircraft were hijacked? The battalion chief in the 9-11 video was seen and heard asking for military backup immediately after the building was hit. How come the NYFD knew it was terrorism right away, but the POTUS and his aides just calmly went about their business? Tony Blair Were 25,000 British troops in the largest British armada since the Falkland Islands War, part of Operation Essential Harvest prepositioned in Oman, the closest point on the Arabian Peninsula to Pakistan before September 11, 2001? When did he begin to place CIS special forces in Afghanistan? Why? The Sun Sentinel. Did Gloria Irish own Unit 1504 at the Del Rey Racket Club, 755 Dotteral? Did she rent that property to Hamza Al Gamdi in August 2001? Why did the media not report about a connection of the Sun Sentinel and the hijackers? Why did it first appear that the hijackers had something to do with the anthrax attacks? Why has this connection or coincidence never appeared in the media again? What was the connection between husband Michael Irish, Sun Sentinel, and Bob Stevens, who died from anthrax? Warnings When did Vladimir Putin warn the CIA about a possible terrorist attack and what was their reaction? What was the purpose of the meeting between Christina Rocca, Director of Asian Affairs at the State Department and the Taliban Ambassador Mala Abdul Salam Zif in Islamabad in August 2001? Why did she oversee the delivery of Stinger missiles in the 80s to Afghan Mujahedin? Did Walid Arka in Seminole County Jail inform the FBI in August 2001 about an attack on America? What was the reaction of the FBI? Why did Dr. Jeffrey Starr, U.S. Department of Defense, visit Tajikistan in January 2001? When did Jean-Claude Cousserin, Director DGSE, French Secret Service inform the CIA about terrorist attacks on America? What was their reaction? What does he know about the monitoring of Jamal Beghal, member of Takfir Walhidra, financed by Osama bin Laden, and Kamal Dowdy? Did he ever inform the CIA about that? And when? 
When did Italian Deputy Prime Minister John Franco Fini inform the CIA about a possible attack on the American president with the use of an airplane? What was their reaction? When did President Mubarak, Egypt, inform the CIA about a possible attack on America with an airplane stuffed with explosives? What was their reaction? When did Ephraim Halevi, director of Mossad since 1998, unconfirmed, inform the CIA about a possible attack with 200 terrorists on America? What was their reaction? Is it true he warned Ariel Sharon not to travel to New York on September 11 to speak at a festival? Did a caller to Loxley Banks, director Radio Cayman Islands talk show, give several warnings of an imminent attack on the U.S. on September 3 minus 10? The London Times reported that someone from the FAA warned Salman Rushdie not to travel to the United States on September 3. If this is true, who was it? Did the FBI investigate the two men who met Mohammed Atta and Marwan al Shahi in Harry's Bar at the Helmsley Hotel in Manhattan on September 8, 2001? Who does Abdullah Abdullah, Northern Alliance, believe killed Commander Ahmad Shah Massoud on September 9, 2001? When and why did he decide to attack Kabul on September 11 at 5.30 p.m.? When did he decide to invade Mesar i Sharif? Did the CIA help him provoke a tumult? Did he ever meet John Walker Lind? Why was Major John Kenny, Commander Wright Patterson Air Base, Dayton placed on high alert on September 10? Did he inform companies in Dayton to shut down their offices? Why was Colonel William M. Dietrich, Commander Defense Language Institute in Garrison, Monterey on high alert on September 10? Why did one of Kenneth, Ken, Weinbrecht, President Sam's, Executives say on September 10 that he was a wild card. Ruthless and cunning. Has capability to target U.S. forces and make it look like a Palestinian slash Arab act. Did Jean Louis Bruguier, French anti terrorism, inform the CIA on September 10 about a possible terrorist attack? If so, what was their reaction? Why did Ada and hijacker Abdulaziz Alamari check into a Portland, Maine motel, unidentified, on September 10? Why was the Portland airport, according to eyewitnesses, in full charge of more military officials and soldiers than usual, weeks before September 11, 2001? Why, as the San Francisco Chronicle reported, was Mayor Brown warned to be cautious in your travel the night of September 10? Who warned him? Why did Alex Diamandis, Otago Vice President of Sales and Marketing, receive a warning on his messenger service about a possible attack on America on September 11, 2001? At which time? When did Dr. August Hanning, President BND, Bundesnachrichtendienst Germany, inform the CIA that Middle Eastern terrorists are planning to hijack commercial aircraft? What was their reaction? Did he allow an Iranian prisoner in Hamburg call to the CIA in summer 2001 about an attack on America? What was their reaction? Air traffic control slash global hawk. Why did Kenneth Waldy, Stanley Hall, Herbert Homer, and Peter Gay of Raytheon travel on September 11? Can global hawk technology be used for at least 27 hours? Is global hawk technology used in commercial airplanes? Did Danielle O'Brien, air traffic controller, inform another air traffic control center about a plane traveling fast southwest of Dulles after spotting it 8.18 a.m. on September 11? Who was informed and what happened? The Pennsylvania crash. Why didn't Dr. James G. Roche, secretary of the Air Force, try to reach the airplanes in NYC, seven minutes' time for McGuire AFB in New Jersey? and at the Pentagon, 10 minutes' time? Did Roche ever try to shut down the plane in Pennsylvania? Can Roche explain why magazines of that plane were found 20 miles away from the crash? Andrew's AFB is 13 miles away. He had 1 hour and 15 minutes to respond to the plane that hit the Pentagon. What happened during that time? Can he explain why many ear and eyewitnesses, including workers of the road construction company New Enterprise saw or heard F-16 jets? Why did President Bush say only one week later that he tried to shut down that plane? Who gave that decision? 
Defense alerts and movements. Why did George Bush leave Barksdale Air Force Base aboard Air Force One and flew to an Air Force base in Nebraska on 1.48 p.m. on September 11 and returned to Washington at 4.30 p.m.? What exactly did Donald Rumsfeld do that day before he arrived at the Pentagon around 3.55 p.m.? How did Rumsfeld know at 5.30 p.m. on September 11 that the plane in Pennsylvania could have been headed for one of three possible targets, Camp David, the White House or the U.S. Capitol building? Can he explain why early media reports told us that no squadrons of combat-ready fighter jets have been at Andrews and later changed their reports that they haven't been on high alert only? Why was Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Vic Warzynski, another Pentagon spokesman, so sure on September 11 that aircraft was coming your way? What did the D.C. Air National Guard in Washington do on September 11? Can he explain what those three fighters did from 9.40 a.m. until 9.55 a.m. when they finally turned towards Flight 93 and were 60 miles out at 10.06 a.m.? Can he explain why air traffic controllers in a Nashua Telegraph article did report an F-16 was circling Flight 93 and was in visual range at the time of crash? Can he confirm a witness report that National Guard F-16s have been at Hancock Field in Syracuse, New York in the air early that morning before 9 a.m.? How could the hijackers know how to disable defense systems? What was the official reason that fighters of the 305th Air Wing, McGuire Air Force Base, NJ did not intercept the second hijacked plane in NYC? This would have been possible within seven minutes after 8.48 a.m. Why did none of the 459th Aircraft Squadron, Andrews AFB, fighters intercept the plane which crashed into the Pentagon? Andrews AFB is 10 miles from Washington, D.C. Colonel Ken McClellan Air Force spokesman said on September 11 that Mohammed Atta attended the International Officers School at maxwell gunter Air Force Base in Montgomery, and was seen by eyewitnesses? What was McClellan doing there? Why did he later deny the report? Why did he decide not to shut down Echelon Base Bad Abling in Germany as planned for 2002? What is the reason that none of any Air Force fighters reached the hijacked plane in time? Many Air and eyewitnesses think that the plane in Pennsylvania was shot down. What is the scientific explanation why the magazine of the airplane was found many miles away? Why did Jack Kelly, iDefense.com, inform USA Today only 12 minutes after the first crash, 8.48 a.m., that terror groups using web encryption may have been responsible? And why was he so sure before the second crash at 9.03 p.m.? Did Kelly serve with the U.S. government where he managed several significant programs for the information warfare and intelligence communities? Did Joseph J. Esposito, chief of NYPD try to contact the Pentagon at 9.06 a.m. on September 11? A reaction. Why didn't General Elwood Pete Quesada of the FAA inform President Bush between 8.15 and 9.05 about four simultaneously hijacked planes? Who did he inform and what was their reaction? The WTC collapse. What does Nicholas Scopetto of FDNY know about the latest reports of the WTC destruction? Can he explain why many witnesses saw and heard more than two explosions in the WTC? Can he explain why both Twin Towers and Building 7 collapsed in that way? Can he explain why a gas tank was in Building 7? Can he explain why there were no passengers in the subway under the WTC? Can he explain why there was no guard at the Gold Reservoir under the WTC? Why did Dr. Jeffrey P. Copland, Director CDC Prepare, as CNN reported, Emergency response teams on September 11 at 11.16 p.m. Miscellaneous. When did Dr. August Hanning, President BND, Bundesnachrichtendienst Germany, inform the CIA that Middle Eastern terrorists are planning to hijack commercial aircraft? What was their reaction? Did he allow an Iranian prisoner in Hamburg call to the CIA in summer 2001 about an attack on America? What was their reaction? When did Taysir Alauni, Kabul correspondent Al Jazeera, receive his first video from bin Laden. Can he explain why the first video on October 7, 2001, the day of the retaliation, looked like it was recorded in the morning? Did Tom Simmons, former U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan, Carl Interford, former Assistant Secretary of State for South Asian Affairs, and Lee Calderon, former State Department expert on South Asia, decide or announce in a July 2001 meeting that an attack was planned on the Taliban in October 2001? Why did Ms. Barbara Bodine, U.S. Ambassador to Yemen stop John O'Neill from investigating al-Qaeda accounts in July 2001? Did Niaznik, former Pakistani Foreign Secretary say in mid-July 2001 that the USA planned military action against Osama bin Laden and the Taliban? Did Amid Ghul, 
retired Pakistani general of Pakistan's inter-services intelligence, say that a secret service was involved in the attack on America? Why did Tommy Thompson, the secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services, and other Bush cabinet members meet secretly, i.e., illegally, in October 2001 with officials of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, PHRMA, to develop plans for their emergency preparedness task force? Why did he decide on October 25, 2001 to ask Congress for another $500 million to produce a campus's smallpox vaccine? Why did it take 4.5 hours until Jean Marie Malucky, Director Palm Beach County Health Department, picked up the phone for employees of the AMI building, Boca Raton? This is where editor Bob Stevens got anthrax. Why did she wait two days before she visited that building again? Ergilani sold WTC rubble to India for recycling and also China. Who made the decision? What was the purpose of U.S. Ambassador Wendy Chamberlain's phone call on October 10, 2001 to the Pakistani oil minister? Why was she sure that a previously abandoned Unocal pipeline from Turkmenistan across Afghanistan to the Pakistani coast for the purpose of selling oil and gas to China, was back on the table in view of recent geopolitical developments? What exactly was found on Z? Musawi's computer after 9-11, when local agents were given a Federal Intelligence Security Act. FISA, Warren, which they had requested six weeks previously. This ties directly into the question of the administration's dealings with the Taliban, its reluctance to investigate Saudi nationals, etc. Why the attack on Cynthia McKinney for asking, 1, why has there been no investigation of the 9-11 attack? And 2, did Bush-CIA-NSA know of it beforehand, and allow it to happen? Why is the Bush administration so strongly against a real investigation into the events of 9-11? Why did the U.S. give $43 million to Afghanistan back in May or June of 2001? Why did Bush toss the Hart-Rudman terror security study, developed over a two-year period, and instead assign responsibility to Cheney and FEMA? Why did Ashcroft stops flying commercial, citing an unidentified threat in July 2001? Why did the FBI on justice not identify the form, origin and time of the threat? Why did Bush stay in Texas for the month of August and Cheney in Wyoming? Why didn't the Secret Service hustle W out of the classroom a half second after Andy Card told him, Mr. P. Resident, the nation is under attack? Why did they leave him exposed to danger for two and a half minutes in the classroom and another half hour in the school before he returned to the relative safety of Air Force One? Where was George H. W. Bush at the time of the attacks? Why did passengers or crew members on three of the flights tell people on the ground that the hijackers had box cutters? Where are the flight recorders? How did they find a passport that just happens to belong to one of the hijackers in the WTC rubble and they can't locate even one flight recorder? Why no investigative reporting of the Pentagon scene? The photos do not show much, but then photographers were not allowed, initially, to photograph the scene, if I remember correctly. Why was the series of recommendations Al Gore also put together in 1996 on airport security called by Republican Congress paranoid and too harsh? Why did the airline industry, lobbying against it, consider it too expensive and impractical? Why was the Hart Rudman report on the potential dangers of terrorism in the homeland? The results of the research ignored by Bush? Why were visa warrants disallowed by Bush? U.S. pulled the plug on Muslim websites Monday, September 10, 2001. Why did the Saudi bin Laden group have a website with a preset expiration date of September 11, 2001? Why were the bin Ladens flown out of the U.S.? on private jets the day after the 9-11? Why did Cheney say that everyone in the White House started taking Cipro on September 12 when the first anthrax letter wasn't postmarked until September 18? Why did Bush dissolve the Bin Laden task force? What would have happened had this focused and knowledgeable group been in place nine months before 9-11? Why was metallic debris found eight miles from the crash site of the plane that went down in Penn? They said it went straight down and left a small hole in the ground. If they found metallic debris from the plane eight miles away it was either shot down or a bomb exploded in the plane. Why did they not let the media or any reporters take video or photos of the crash site?